Uh, hi everybody, welcome to my channel, Made With Love. My name is Heather, and I can't believe that today is already uh, November the 10th. So that means we're about 45 days till Christmas. So today I am going to be repainting my Christmas tree. About, um, I think it was 9 or 10 years ago, my husband and I, we bought one of those white Christmas trees. And then two years ago, when we took it out of storage, it had all turned brown and yellow. And I was looking at different ways to clean it and everything I was doing was just making it mo look more dirty than clean. And so I decided let's just, you know, like go with the color scheme that I was going with. I liked a lot of golds and the rose golds and, and the coppers. So I decided to spray paint the tree gold. So we did that. Two years ago we spray painted the tree gold. Uh, last year I did some touch-ups with spray painting some gold and then I also did the white, I did a combination of the white spray paint and the faux snow just to give it a more flocked look. Uh, all the fake snow has all flaked off. Now I'm stuck with this tree that doesn't quite look right. So I do want to go back to the white. So uh, in just a few moments I'm going to be out in my backyard spray painting the tree white. So I'll show you how I'm spray paint my tree back to white. All right, I'm now outside my backyard ready to spray paint the tree. So I've got the white spray paint and I've got my little uh, spray paint nozzle on here. I'm just gonna turn the camera around. So there's the tree. So I'm just going to just, oh. <laughs> that's never happened to me before. <laughs> I'm sorry, my, nozzle thing just fell off the spray paint that's never happened to me before i'm just going to touch up anywhere where i just see more of the gold and brown just to get a better white oh, i guess that nozzle must be broken it just did it again i'm just gonna make sure i get sprayed the right direction just doing quick little white touch-ups here just trying to cover up some of that gold. I guess I did spray paint it kind of white last year, but I still got some of the gold showing through and it, it'll be okay, but I just don't want so much gold this year. I just want more of the white look. So I'm just going to go around the whole tree and spray paint it. I'll show you like this one here. You can see that this has a lot more gold on the top part than on the bottom. So I'm just gonna continue to spray paint my tree and when I get my tree uh, painted and it's fully dry and it's set up in my living room then I'll be be back okay my not sure where it cut out on me but I've got the faux fur glued on and I've got the floral foam inside now I'm going to start arranging my floral so I'm going to start with the tallest ones. I'm going to start with these tallest branches here. And get these going in the back. Let's see, there's one. Two, three, six, there's five. There's six. Oh, there's six of them, so I'll do three and three. So just gonna put one there, put one here. Just trying to get I put one here. Sorry about that. I'm not quite sure where my video cut off. Um, combination of I had to charge my phone and I ran out of memory. So I got my Santa boots here all painted. The uh, teal color was the, oh, the sea mist. And I've got the floral foam in place. And I was just starting to um, put the sticks in here. So I'm going to start with the tallest branches. I've got these tall. They're like some like a willow branch type and they've been spray painted like a green glitter so i'm just going to start by placing a couple of these in the back here so a lot 
taller than I thought they were. Okay. Placing these branches in here. Then I will get to some of the other ones I have. Let's push these down into the foam more. I don't want to cut these branches because I do like the, how tall they were. So I'm going to move this to the back because this one I can get taller. No, this one I can get a little smaller. That there. I'm trying to get this nice uh, forest effect. So, having trouble getting these sit exactly where I want them. I thought I had them in the right place and they're just not exactly standing the way I thought that they would. That's okay because I can just play around with these as I get the other ones in place. Uh, next I'm going to use the green, these ones here. I think they're some type of like a mum, I believe that's what they are. I'm going to put these in the front here. Actually, these ones, I'm not going to put them in the foam because there's enough space between the foam and the side of the boot. So I can just fit these in. And they look like that. It's going to be hard to see the way that my camera is angled at the moment. I'm just going to keep, oops, one of these lost its uh, petals, or, or leaves, I guess. So I'm going to stick another one back here, a little bit higher, and this one here. This is the one that lost its leaf. And I'll get this to the back here, a little higher like that. Just bring it down to kind of see how I'm getting the height here. There, just trying to make sure I get like an even height. And the leaves, I'm not too worried about the where the leaves are because I can always turn them as I'm filling it in. And then I've got these ones, these are these nice poinsettias, they kind of like this green color, and black and green I guess. And they've got a really long stem on them as well. But I'm just going to bend the stem up. So I don't want to cut the florals. I mean if they were cheap ones from the dollar store, I don't mind cutting, but these ones are expensive and I can't replace them. And I've got taller vases that I like to do my arrangements in. So I want to keep them whoops, tall so I can do taller ones other years. I mean, if I did have to cut them down, I do keep the stems for all the florals that I do cut off, just so I can, if I have florals where I need them to be ta taller, I just take some floral wire or even like a um, pipe cleaner and just kind of tie the two together. I've done that in the past too. It usually works pretty good. So I'm just going to see where I want this one. Maybe further in the back here. If I stick it in through here. There. That will work. Oops. Bring that one down. I just really want to get some of this height going because my house, I've got really tall ceilings, so I like flowers and things that make your eyes go up versus in just everything staying same eye level. So this one's going to stick this one back here. Just bend it a little. Use these branches to at the back to kind of push it forward. And I've got one more piece. I think I'm going to stick this one. Right in here, I can use one. Just kind of guiding it through and figuring out where it's going to fit. Like that. Same thing. You can kind of just use the branches at the back and just kind of bend the florals. It's kind of hard to show, but I was doing what I was doing with these ones, where I was just kind of bending the floral down a bit so it curves. 
so it looks a little more natural. So I'm just doing that same to these ones up here. I'm just kind of curving them down so that they're not oops, overlapping each other. this one into the floral foam a little bit so stay in place and finally I have these two peacock looking picks which is actually the inspiration for my Christmas theme this year was these I actually bought these for last year for Christmas but I ended up running out of time and so I just went with a different color scheme last year I still had some of these blues and greens but I did pinks and stuff really wanted these peacock ones in last year but one there I've got one here so I'll stick it in over here like that just kind of bend it down a little bit I've got one over here and I got one over here just gonna kind of use them to separate some of these flowers a bit just gotta get this one to come back yeah, I wanted it too on this branch too. Move this branch, it just kind of came out of its hole. I think that's where that broken stick came out of when I put the other ones in. Like that. And then I did have these ones, but these ones are just, I think, just too light of a blue next to these greens. So I'm going to save these for a separate floral that I want to do another vase I want to do so I'm gonna actually do another vase I will do I'm gonna use it in this is the aqua the satin aqua color so I've got another conta floral container I want to spray paint this and I'll probably use these ones in that one there's my florals I just kind of move them down onto my lap and probably be able to see them a lot better Things like that I'll do a better close-up shot of them. I've got to fix those because I can tell when I moved it the flowers kind of slid out of where I wanted them. But I just want to show this one last thing. I was at Walmart about a week or so ago with my daughter and they had this Santa. And it was $20. I don't $20 at Walmart. I don't normally spend buying Santa's brand new. I usually wait till after Christmas when they're on clearance or of course the secondhand stores is a really good place to get lots of good Christmas decor but I said I had to get him because all my other Santas are all white and uh, this year I wanted to do this color and I just looking his coat matches this so good the two different shades of blue and green in here and the blue and green of this of these boots just works perfect so I'm just gonna fix those up. Uh, I've got some spaces in here. I'm just gonna look for my floral moss. I had a bucket of it sitting here. I just, I don't see it. Like I said, I've been just pulling everything out for Christmas. I've been putting away all the Thanksgiving and Halloween decor and I'm pulling out the Christmas. So right now my house is just a mix of everything at the moment. But I will get the floral moss and I will show you how I fill it in with the floral moss. I'm just going to fix these up again just because at my angle I couldn't quite you know, get them straight. I can kind of see the flowers are kind of going a little crooked, going the wrong direction. So I'm just going to get that done. And then I will be back and I will have them displayed. And at the same time I'll show you my Christmas tree that we I worked on painting it white earlier today. I used about four cans of white spray paint and I will say it is so hard to go over top of the gold with the white but that's okay because we did the uh, we did the gold it was two years ago and then last year I did a little bit of white and the flocking spray and now I've got an interesting color tree which I think is gonna look really good when it's fully decorated just means it's a unique tree next year when I want to do because I do want to do white tree again next year I will actually take the tree out in the summer and spray paint it and I can take my time and it will be at proper temperature and today like it's the same with these boots it's not 
they're not perfectly painted it's too cold here to paint today but I wanted to get my Christmas stuff started so I will see you when I've got the moss and then I'll show you the tree and the placement of the Santa boots all right so I couldn't find oh, stuff stuck in there sorry I, I couldn't find my floral moss tonight I had it yesterday uh, I, can't, I can't quite get to it at the moment but I found some faux snow in the Christmas bucket so I'm just going to tuck some of this full snow in here so I'm just going to cut a strip off I'm just going to from the back end I'm just going to this stuff is just sticking to me I just want to tuck it in down and around this up because you want to be able to see the faux fur want to see, be able to see the trim on Santa's boots just want to kind of get some of this stuff in here so you're not seeing all those branches they don't it doesn't look quite so ugly so now it just looks like there's a lot of snow so I'm just gonna fix this just gonna pull this around just tuck it in here tuck it in Some of this in in between some of these branches here. It's at the back, so it's not gonna matter as much. I'm just gonna bring some of these green leaves out so you can see them a little bit easier now. So back looks like that. a bit just so it's a little bit softer fluffier and it's gonna look like that so I will be back in a couple minutes when I've got it all set up in the living room so here's my tree it's about a six foot tree and I've got it standing on a little end table so it makes it you know, quite tall at the back it's as tall as my front window like I said so some of the gold is still shining through the white uh, today I used about four cans of white spray paint and that's about as white as I'm gonna make it so it's too cold today to paint it so if I want white next Christmas I'm gonna have to paint it in the summer okay and now here I'm on the other side of my living room and there is the uh, floral arrangement I can say I really like the way it looks I'm gonna get some black paint and touch it up I don't have any black paint today I'm just gonna spin this around so you can see how it looks from the all angles by having this faux snow oops just got caught on my curtains having this faux snow kind of stuffed in here you kind of don't see the um all the little end pieces to the stems and you also don't see the floral foam so i really wanted to put the moss in so i'll probably find my moss i'll probably put the moss on top of this and i'll just put it back oops. Spin it back around. Let's take a step back so you can see how it looks. The Santa with the boots. I just wanted to say thank you to everybody who's watching my videos and subscribing to my channel. And I can't believe I'm actually at over 440 subscribers. It's been one year and one week since I first posted my first video. Again, just a great thank you to everybody, and I'll see you in my next video. Bye. Okay, welcome back. So I spray painted the boots with this color. It's the sea mist. So here is what they look like. I've got 
some dripping. I know it's too cold to actually be outside to spray paint. And I'm not too worried about this stuff because when I put the new faux fur back on, it's going to hide most of that. I'm just going to peel off the tape here so you can see I got a nice finished edge to the boot. If I can, if I can get this to peel off. Like, oops, did I just... No, I can't quite see what I'm doing. I thought I pulled it too far. And I see from the bottom here, you can see some of the red showing through. I can't help that. I would spray another coat, but it's like about zero degrees outside right now. My spray paint doesn't want to work. It's just too cold, and I've got a strong wind just picked up too. So this is what it's going to have to look like for now. I can always, you know, come back and spray paint another layer when it warms up outside. That's the tricky thing about wanting to do painting projects where I live, you know, especially in the winter. I had this problem last year, it was actually even worse because I was actually spray painting you know, like the couple days before Christmas and like you know, eight o'clock at night so there's no sun, wind, it's cold. Some of that came, the blue kind of went down like that. That's okay. I'm just going to touch that up with the black paint. And I'll just touch that up again later with the paint. So I'm going to show you how I'm going to do this. I'm just seeing my glue gun. I'm still waiting for it to finish heating up. But I'm going to set this aside. So I've got these. Um, the floral foams. I've got two of them. I found that somebody said if you keep it wrapped, because when you use them they kind of flake off, but if you keep them wrapped, all the stuff that flakes actually gets more contained inside the bag and you don't get that stuff everywhere. And I don't know, these are 24 by something. I can't quite read what the size of these are. It says it's 24 by 2.9 by 7.8 inches. So I've got two of them. I got them at a secondhand store, um, Salvation, Ar or, yeah, Salvation Army for 99 cents each. But I find these are the perfect size to actually fit right in the boot, like one on each side. And I said this year for Christmas, my color scheme is peacock. So I've got some of these peacock floral picks here. I got these at a secondhand store. Oh, I paid four dollars for these. And I've got this nice pick here. It's the poinsettias, but they're in like this really interesting dark green color. I got these at oh Salvation Army. I paid four dollars for these, and I got one, two, four picks of them. And I got this one that I also got at Salvation Army. It's these little like, mum type flowers. Uh, $3. And again, I've got about four picks of them. Two, three, yeah, four. And I also have this bundle of little twigs. And they're in the really nice bluey green color. And I got these ones at Salvation, or no, uh, Value Village for $4. So I always like to check my secondhand stores for florals. I thought I had another one, maybe. That was it. These four. No, I have another set of flowers I, I was going to use in here. I don't see them. Sorry. They were all right here behind me. I'm sitting at my little um, table that I usually sew on because my craft table is piled up high with all my Christmas stuff that I'm working on. So I'm just going to set the florals aside. I think the glue gun is yeah, it's ready now. So now I'm going to glue the fur trim back on the boot. I'm trying to get that the right height. Now it's already glued together. So I'm just going to put this back on like that. Just have to 
fit it back on. I don't think I really have to glue it on. I might just glue it in a couple places so just to hold it in a couple places. So it's just right here and just at the front and the one spot at the back. Just put lots of glue on the back one. Just kind of hold it in those two spots because I think what I'm going to do is I'm going to end up using these boots every season. Just change them out for my florals because I really like the way that they're the boots look may not always need the fur trim